Welcome back to the channel. And today we're talking about filters. Oh my god, I'm just playing with them now, yeah. Oh my god, what she saying, say it loud. Alright, so as I said in the in the introduction, uh, we're talking about filters today. More importantly, we're talking about the Freewell Mega Kit. It is a ND kit. It is also a circular polarizer ND kit, and there's a, a, a light pollution filter and a mist, mist filter in this pack. It's called the Mega Pack. Ooh, there's one missing because I have one out already. The importance of filters when you're out shooting is the fact that you want to abide by the 180 degree rule of shooting video, which is whatever your frame rate is, you need to make your shutter speed double that. So you get the natural motion blur as seen in, in every movie and everything that's cinematically shot forever. So if you see my hand like this, right now my shutter speed is 1 50th because I'm shooting in 4K24, and that gives you that natural motion blur, and it just makes everything look way more cinematic, and it lets your camera perform to its like maximum capability. So, to achieve this, you gotta think of your camera lens as an eyeball. When you go out in the sun, generally, what do you do? You put on some sunglasses, dude. It's the same, it's the same scenario, and there's varying grades of ND filters. It goes from, I believe, let's see, let me just run through the pack. We have ND8, ND16, ND32, uh, ND64, uh, ND128, 256, and ND1000 if you're gonna be on the surface of the sun. I don't know if I'd ever use a thousand, that's a lie. If you're gonna do like a, um, a long shutter time lapse, that's when you would put the 1000s on there because you gotta let the shutter stay open, but you wanna still expose it properly. So that's an application where you would use that. On a day like today, the sun's just like out. I use an ND64 and it usually does the job. Um, you could go up to 128, and just let your ISO like make up the difference if it gets a little too dark, but at the same time, you know. Moving on along in the kit, polarizers. And if you don't know what that is, um, it basically takes the reflection out of glass and or water. So if you're looking out the front of the vehicle, if you're filming in a car or if you're outside of a house looking in the windows, it gets rid of all that glare so you can see straight through. I'm gonna spin the camera around, put the ND64 polarizer on there and I'll show you what, I'm, what I mean. All right, ready? Here we go. Okay, so here's a good example of the polarizer in action. You see how right about here, you see the uh, reflection of my dash in the image. If I am, um, there's a little ring on the outside of the filter, and if you rotate it, you can see that the glare goes away. Right now we have a, a ND64 polarizer. I'm gonna take that off for a second and you're gonna see how bright it is. These things are so tiny though for this Pocket 3, man. So that's how bright it is right now without the polarizer on there. ND polarizer, that is. Pop that back on there and now we can see. I have my ISO, sometimes I'll have my ISO set to um, as low as it'll go, but if you want to give yourself some wiggle room, if like your environment's changing, I like to set it to whatever the, it's like 20 or 50 to like 400. I don't like to let it go above 400 outside because then like, I don't know if it's too much noise and you'll see like a bunch of little dots everywhere. So I try to keep it in the uh, under 400 range. And like I said, you got to give yourself some wiggle room in case there's some variables. That's why they call them variable ND filters, I guess. <laughs> These filters have a little ring on them, and when you rotate them, it increases or de decreases the, uh, the polarizer. Okay, so here's a good example of why the polarizer is a good thing. So you see this rail right here, and you can see it's reflected into the window. Now, if you want to get a shot through that window without that reflection, you just rotate the polarizer and magically it disappears. And now you got a clean shot through the window or windshield or whatever you're shooting, you know? The world is your oyster. All right, so just for comparison, 
I'm going to throw on them in order. We're starting with the ND8, no polarizer. As you can see, it improves the image a little bit, but it's still a little overblown. The only problem with these things is they're so tiny. Getting them off of here is kind of, you got to be like a surgeon. All right, moving down the line. I'm guessing this is the 16, ND16. So you can see it's still a little better. It's still a little overexposed. So that's the 32. I mean, that's probably doable and it's probably good enough, but we're gonna keep going. Here's the regular ND64, no polarization. Always have a little bit of fingernail so you can get these bad boys off of here. Here's ND128. So now that's saying it's the negative 0.3, which is usually where I like to keep my exposure on these because they were over, always overexpose a little bit, but okay. Two fifty six. So now you can tell it's probably looking the same because the ISO is compensating for the darkness. So it's probably going to, you know, start working its way up. And the last one for the regular NDs is 1000. And that's just really dark now. The ISO can no longer keep up with it. It is too dark. So I'm gonna say for outside right now, 64 is probably the money spot. 64. Another thing I'd like to note with, um, with these things is always carry, I don't have it, it's in my truck right now, but always carry like a little microfiber cloth for like your lens cleaning. Because every time you take these things out, you're probably gonna get a fingerprint on them because they're so darn tiny. So you're gonna wanna be uh, keeping them clean. So, hey, my wife's lipstick. Wonder how long this has been sitting out here. So what did we cover today? We covered the 180 degree rule double your frame rate to your shutter speed, ISO, pick your poison, you can let it go above 400, I don't like to do that, I like to keep it at 400 max, yeah, good stuff. It's like the ocean Moving over time However slowly Wear away shit in our skin Casting off all of our sins Leaving our luck to the dying We've done our years apart Wish you could see me now I'm a new man and I hope I'm worthy Come find me, I'm ready for you now Lay me down, lay me down Come find me, I'm hiding from forgot to end the video earlier, but um, the Freewell Mega Kit. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Is it overkill? Yeah. Do you need that many ND filters? Probably not. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the one that I have, and then I'll leave the other ones for the other versions of it because they have like a bright day kit or like a, just a couple, couple kits or a couple ND filters in the kit. Um, 
the polarizers, the circular polarizers. You can use them, not use them. But with that being said, stay safe, keep shooting, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about filters. Uh, yeah, boy. This shot is terrifying, so I'm gonna pull over so my camera doesn't fall off the fucking windshield. <laughs>